This one on the wall in the wide runner format is a better grade Pakistani rug. Very attractive. Um, it's got that Ziggler sort of feel, the, um, uh, the off-white background, the simple, very simple designs. Here I'm looking at the back of one of the better grade Pakistani vegetable dyes. It's a nice weave. Um, as far as these rugs go, it's not the finest I've seen, but it's, it's tight enough that the wear will be uh, pretty good. As with all of these rugs, what's really important is, is feeling it. If, this is not as buttery soft. This is not what I think of as sweater wool, nearly as much so as the lesser grade Pakistani vegetable dye. Feel the rug. So many people go by, by just looks alone. You can't. You want a rug where the wool feels fairly, fairly stiff. You, uh, uh, you don't want it too, too soft. One of the reasons why the wool in these better grade Pakistani vegetable dyes feels a little stiffer, almost like the Afghan Ghazni wool, is that this rug, um, the wool in these comes primarily from Syria and Iraq. Um, it's a good quality wool. It's not, it's not the same as the hard wearing Ghazni wool, but it's still a very, very good rug wool. Uh, with these, you get what you pay for and if you're just looking for a rug that you're going to throw away in a year or two or you uh, you know if you change the look of your living room that often well fine go for the lower grade one if it looks all right if if you want something that's going to hold up the biggest difference between besides the weave is the quality of the wool in these and a the better quality has absolutely better quality wool